G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Today we'll be uh, installing Ferran OS and uh, that's his latest build, so let's get on with that. Now I'm going to do some manual partitioning here, so we're going to do that and uh, just show you how the installer works. So what we're going to do here is we're going to delete these partitions here and I'm going to make up the partitions again. So what I'm going to do is make some partitions, um, one for UEFI install, Linux swap and a root partition and also free space for a data partition. So let's do that. 512 megabyte for a uh, FAT32 boot ESP, which will be uh, boot EFI. Then we shall create a Linux swap at um, we'll do the same size as my memory, which is 8 gig. So that'll be 8192, which is exactly 8 gigs. And we'll do that as Linux swap. Next, we shall create a 60 gig hard drive, 60 gig partition, which will be 61440 to make exactly 60 gig and that will be root partition and I'm going to make the rest of that as an ext4 and we shall just leave it as it is no mount point so we've got our fat32 boot efi our swap and our root partition that's what we're looking at there so let's go next Ferran Tosh every time I put Tosh that's just a shortcut for the name of my Toshiba laptop so I know uh, when I'm on my home network that's what it is so I can identify it and we shall install that. Install now. Okay, so that is the install complete. We shall um, restart the system and have a look at the post install of Ferran OS. So this bit for Ferran OS needs to be done in VirtualBox, that was the startup screen. So what you'll see is this bit I cannot record on real hardware because of uh, the nature of how it's done. It's actually a setup prior to installing or, or going into the desktop. So what we have here is uh, welcome to Ferran OS, so uh, we click the start button to start and we have... Um, third-party codex and explains the legal warnings and so forth so we can uh, click to install third party we put in our password that we set up during install so that's our um, third-party codex installed click on next so we can choose a layout that we prefer we can have um, let's see, default desktop with clock, default with desktop clock, default with panel clock. So I'll take the panel clock. And the layouts we can have is Windows XP, Windows 7, 8, Windows 10 layout, Mac OS, and the Linux Mint layout. So I think I'll go for the um, Windows 7, 8 layout, I think. And then we click on Next. Um, you can choose the theme mode and accent color which is basically the boxes and stuff and the selection boxes and that which will 
the that particular color I'll leave it at blue and a theme mode I think I'll go for the dark and let's go next and we can enable or disable animations um, normally I would enable animations I'll just leave that default but because I'm on VirtualBox here I'll just disable that and that is it and then we can in just click on the enjoy button and that will log you into Ferrin it will do its thing set itself up and away we go so I shall continue this on real hardware so here we are in the um, desktop of Ferran OS freshly installed on the real hardware on the Toshiba laptop we got some links here to introduction features tell you all about the features and getting started and we got the getting started here where is whereas you got the customization themes and settings keyboard shortcuts post installation updates and extras drivers optional tasks and system specifications so let's have a look at the updates and extras so we'll check for updates restricted extras should be installed yep we did that during the uh, pre uh, desktop login so we'll check for updates and now it's going to tell you that there's system snap snapshots here this is the updater so that's part of the security for you to make sure you get your updates and your snapshots um, done so if you're happy to do snapshots then just follow this through so please set up system snapshots um, I don't want to set up system snapshots and I do have a video that uh, takes you through that but I'm going to go to preferences show a warning I'm going to untick that I don't want to be shown any warning about snapshots I'll back up my own data and then it should ask you to check your mirrors so we'll go OK put in the password um, click on this top one here to check your fastest mirrors and that one looks fast enough for me apply that and then we'll go to the Linux Mint ones internodes normally the fastest one for me so I'm going to check that and click OK so that's our mirrors done we can now close that window and install our updates and our system is now up to date we've got the option of drivers additional drivers if you've got um, Nvidia optional tasks for backups deja dupe firewall you can turn on your firewall configure your users and system specifications So that is the um, install and post setup of Ferran OS. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.